<laughs> hey everybody, and welcome back to Andromeda. Um, yeah, 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 radiation levels, got it. Okay, let's get actually into camp. Radiation levels normal. There we go. Alright, but um, yeah, so when last we left off, we, uh, well, established this outpost. Uh, Padromos, I believe is what the guy called it. Just look on the map here. Um, does it actually say the name anywhere? No? What is this green thing? Okay. I'm not seeing what that is. Uh, maybe I need to... Okay, well, actually, whatever. I'll go check it out. Exit. Come on. But, yeah. We, um, established this place. Uh, we decided it was going to be a military outpost. Kind of to the objection of... Wow, that is loud. Kind of to the objection of pretty much, like, everyone. Um... <laughs> Including Sarah herself, in a sense, like, it doesn't, it doesn't go with, it's not her first instinct, but it's just practicality outweighs everything else right now. Let's just see here. It would be this way. Let's avoid that landing pad and its noise for the time being. Um, okay. Alright, this green thing. What? Alright, uh, toggle, no. Not what I wanted. Um... Yeah, but X, show legend. Mm, it doesn't actually tell me what it is. But there's a waypoint there now, so let's go. Let's check that out. Let's check out these buildings, see if there's anything interesting in here. Looks like there's maybe a important person for me to talk to. Oh. Yes. Yes, there is. Oh, okay, it's the, it's the mayor guy. Alright, well... I'm at my waypoint. Does it go away now? Yes, it does. Oh, there's a memory trigger, like, right there. Alright, well, let me talk to him Mayor first. Mayor Bradley. Pathfinder, good to see you. We're busy as anything, thanks to you. Bit dusty, but we can adapt. It's worth it when it's your own. Uh, don't overwork yourselves. I'll want consistent updates. Um, I don't want them to overwork themselves, but I do want updates, and I think that's more important to say. Make sure to keep a clear log of what you're doing. Well, let's save some bandwidth. Busted ass defeat initiative. Copy, paste, repeat. You go do what you <laughs> need to on the Nexus. Follow that dot. There will be more to do on EOS later. Some key positions. Connor Supply, Ramirez Medical, Abram Science, Fox Engineering. With them and my Major Domo, we won't end up like Site 1 and 2. Major Domo? Don't dismiss their efforts. They never knew what hit them. I'm not- he's not dismissing their efforts. The first two outposts didn't have a chance. It was clear to everyone on the ground. I saw the brief. I'm making sure every one of our people is eyes wide. You changed this planet. But that doesn't make it easy. We'll use the efforts of those who went before. Good people, every last one. I'd have been honored to fail with any of them. I haven't reached the end of that trail, but not everyone died outright. Right. They tell me there were staggered evacs. If any want to try again, they're welcome. Oh, and Pathfinder, this is for you. It's our flag. Hang it where the Nexus can see. It's touched the soil of our first outpost in Andromeda. Make oh, it cool. real. Neat. The Nexus, Pathfinder. Prodromos will have more going on when you come back later. I will totally do that, but um, just a moment. Another memory prompt? Yes, though my memory array remains locked. Additional triggers are required. Okay. Wow, those shuttles are loud. I mean, they're supposed to be, I suppose, but still. Okay, we've got a quest over here. Quest over there. We've got a shop. Um, the Nomad. This is... Oh, okay. A settlement site. An active forward station. From here, you can change your loadout. Okay, so it's the forward station. Never mind. So is that. Okay, but wasn't there... There's another memory trigger, right? Yep, it's all the way over there. Oh, jeez. There's more stuff. Um, what's this? Hitting rocks for science. Hitting rocks for science. And hitting rocks for science. I still have yet to do that one. Um, secret project. Recover to... Yeah, I'm still not sure what this is. Site 2 engineers knew they were in desperate circumstances when the cat became aware of their attempts to settle. Engineers tried to research technology that could help them fight the cat but didn't have time to, re to assemble it before they were attacked. The engineers tried to hide the project's components rather than letting them fall into cat hands. Recovering the components will unlock the project. 
I think I should do that before I head back to the Nexus, and I should also get this memory trigger. So that is what we are going to do first. Um, and also might as well check out the quests that are here. I want to explore Pedromos a little bit. I don't know. See inside these buildings, see what's going on. Hello there. Hello. Okay, we got people. Including Hanley Abrams. He said Abrams was something. I, I missed it now. I'll ask her. Ah, Pathfinder. I hear you're to thank for a physics defying atmosphere processor. <laughs> That's me. I'm Ryder. Hanley Abrams, Director of Scientific Research on EOS, and Ryder of papers that start what the hell weather. <laughs> Since we're prioritizing military defenses, we may be asking that question for a while. But, new galaxy, new world, and a really new start. Gotta keep up. How can I help you? See, now I, I feel bad that I'm not doing a science. Dang it. Okay. Still, though, we kind of have to defend ourselves. Yeah. Okay, fine. Whatever. How do you feel about EOS having a military outpost? Honestly, I don't like it much. This isn't what the initiative's for, is it? We need to study EOS, understand the remnant tech, but our budget's earmarked for military research. Yeah, well... Okay, maybe I made a bad choice, but I'm living with it now. Activating that vault changed the planet. Anything to worry about? I don't believe so. Sadly, our equipment is tuned for incoming enemies, not watching the skies. I get but it. The storms show no signs of returning, and I know who to contact for remnant tech support. I'll take it. Who to contact for remnant tech support? Who would that be? I hope you're not talking about me. I'm not tech support. <laughs> what do you make of Lieutenant Bradley? Determined as hell. And he has incredible faith in us to get this done. Bradley would carry this outpost on his back if he had to, and we'll make sure he never has to. Okay. I've gotta go. Keep up the good work. I probably shut myself out of something, or... I don't know. But I just feel like it's a good idea to be able to defend ourselves first, like have that kind of foothold first. It's the same idea of um, when you... when. Okay, when people settled the Old West, I mean, there were forts and stuff that you could use first, I think. I th I'm pretty sure the forts were first. Ah, I don't even know. Anyway, I'm, ta I'm just talking now, but whatever. I made my decision, and that's I'm just going to live with it. That's all there is to it. It'll work out fine. It'll be fine. We'll do scientific research other places. It'll be great. Um, or you could do scientific and military research and just, you know, it'll, scientific will just be a little slower. All right, direction log. Scientific director Hanley Abr Abrams. How? What technology can do this so quickly? Neutralizing the radiation in the atmosphere without dramatic storm effects. Shit, the opposite. Okay, yeah, because it calmed it instead of dramatic storm events. Um, the weather's gone calm as a summer's day. That's unprecedented control over atmospheric pressure, gas mixture, temperature. What else? And where's the interaction? Pause break. Miss the dogs. Walking them in the shuttleport park always helped me think through these problems. Forgot side, forget side effects, too. I should get a dog. Are there dogs? <laughs> Forget side effects? What? Pause break. We got damn lucky with the conditions here. This is this is comparable to sea level Earth. Eos is drier, but within limits. Moisture is binding into the desert plants and soil. And now, so moisture is okay. Moisture is binding into the desert plants and soil. More now since the vault points to a species with the same air mixture, uh, temp air mix, temperature, gravitational comfort levels as us. Or is there another reason? Can't predict intent from results. Maybe Ryder's the one to figure out why. The how? That's my department. Lucky old Han- Lucky old Hanley, you- my- <laughs> That's my department now. Lucky old Hanley, you wanted bigger things. You've sure got them now. Okay. Did anyone read this out loud before they edited this? <laughs> okay. Um, to Tyran Candros from Hanley Abrams. I appreciate you reaching out despite our differences. I still have concerns about conducting military research at our first civilian outpost, though. The fact that you'd potentially have classified prototype weaponry in the same location as families trying to raise crops doesn't seem to fit our mission. I've prepared a proposal for additional safety measures in the labs and storage facilities. I'd also like my own, sa my own staff to oversee any experiments done, done here. For anything else, I'm sure you, see you and Bradley can negotiate. Even if I don't entirely trust this direction, I trust him and you. Hanley Abrams. Okay, so military research is different, I think, than like spot to train troops, which was what I thought that meant by military outpost. But 
Okay. I mean, I'm sure that's going on too, but apparently we're testing prototype weapons or something. Whatever. Uh, Pathfinder? Mind giving me your opinion on this? I'm planning classes for our first school, when we have one. Some okay. say we shouldn't teach Milky Way history. All irrelevant now, apparently. <laughs> no, it still matters. We were all shaped by that history. Our children deserve to know how and why. Agreed. Mm, maybe you'll change a few minds. Thanks for stopping. Uh, you're welcome. Is that it? Okay, apparently that's it. Alright, you didn't have anything else to say, right? Welcome back. Okay, nope. I've gotta go. Keep up the good work. Thank you. See ya. At least she's not, like, I mean, she's upset about it. She measured it, mentioned it, like, five times, but she's not, like, bitter about it, so... Or at least it's not preventing her from being civil, so there's there's that. I think we'll be okay. Anyone in here? Anything interesting in here? Oop. I heard something. Okay, I think that's just a sound effect of the scanner. Pathfinder. Okay. Over here. Yeah, Major Domo... Major Domo, Bell Scott. Major Domo? What kind of rank is that? I heard the mayor mention him too, but okay. Pathfinder, Major Domo Evan Bell Scott. I have headaches so you don't have to. Rather, so Bradley doesn't have to. Uh -huh. I've also coordinated with your cat expert. He wanted me to remind you to find him. I didn't assign a cat expert to Padromos. <laughs> he means Jack. You're a hell of a self-motivator. Here's the nav anyway. Precision is important. I'm I'm fairly certain he means Drac. Um, but yeah. Uh cat activity in the area. Any trouble with the cat? Clearing the sky cleared it for the bad guys as well as us. So some uptick in hostility was to be expected. See, that's We're why well I did that. to repel them, thanks to the added security. But the rest of the planet is another matter. Your expert is still out there. He'd have more current information than I. <laughs> what is Drac doing out there? I assume it's Drac, I might be wrong. But, okay, um... How did you come to the initiative? Like many, I was lost and looking for a purpose. That sounds loftier than it felt at the time. I was an insufferable ass. The training for the trip was probably enough to cure me of it. But I always took things too far. Uh -huh. Didn't know how to stop alienating people until I was the alien. <laughs> See? Still insufferable. Okay. Um, I will ask you about your family trouble now, because I'm I'm nosy. Sounds like you left some interesting circumstances. I miss the family, and maybe they miss me. But that doesn't mean I'd go back. I mean, we can't, but still. I like where I came from. It's a great place to be from. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. Um, oh jeez, now it's me. Uh, I don't know. Was she eager to leave the Milky Way? I don't know. I want to say she couldn't wait to leave because she likes exploring so much. So, yeah. I know exactly how you feel. Couldn't wait to be from somewhere. Like a bullet leaves a gun. Sometimes you just gotta go. Can, can you walk back into frame before... Thank you. Where do you launch out of? The pale blue dot. Terra Prime. Big old boring Earth. I miss... I miss that wet dog smell after the first snow melts. I don't know why. What about you? Miss anything? Uh, stupid romantic things? I miss convenience. I miss not being a hero. Or no, I don't miss any... Well, come on. Um... No, I gotta, I gotta say, I would miss convenience. So, yeah. Things were easier. So much already built. We get to do it all again, for good or bad, I guess. True. Better get it right. True. Another time. Of course. Okay, maybe I can get a better position, because there were definitely other things to ask him. Pathfinder. There we go. Alright, and, uh, tell me about August. Thoughts on your boss? The old man. He's pretty tied into what happens here. I just pick up the day-to-day -day scraps. He's been real useful with the added security. Knows how to talk. Military. I hope he's proud. Feels like he's proud. Well, that's good. Why are you walking? Can you face me, please? Hello? 
Could you please come back here? Maybe. All right, I'm gonna ask you right now. There you go. Thoughts on how the outpost is doing? The planet? Stellar. We keep it up. We'll make this world look like the brochures. It already looks like the brochures. It was already desert planet number one. <laughs> okay, he really likes that Omni tool. All right, uh, we're going. Time. Of course. I feel like he's scanning me now. Oh, we got another terminal. Secure comm, Nexus Pedromos, re messages. Uh, to Director Tan from A. Bradley. Tan, appreciate the personal interest, but my people are getting twitchy with all the messages you're sending them. I'd like their minds on the job, not being under a microscope. Addison's the one I call. I get it. Site 1 and 2 are still raw for us, too. But Pedromos isn't the same. No better way to prove that no no better way to prove that than let us than to let us do our jobs. Give them space, and I'll give you all the footage you need to make it play well back on the Nexus. Agreed? Bradley. Post deployment block party. To all Pedromos personnel. Everyone, initial setup went by the books and we're operational in record time. Be proud, I am. Now that the first deployment was it now that the first deployment wave is in. I'm giving the all clear to break out to break into the good stuff. We've got a new colony to toast and some lost friends to say goodbye to. Lights go down and drinks raise up at two thousand or er, twenty hundred hours, actually. Um Bradley. Twenty hundred that's my military time sucks. That's uh eight o'clock. Yeah. Alright. And nothing interesting in here. Apparently they're gonna have a a party tonight, but I'm not going to... Oop, didn't mean to mess up your chairs there, sorry. They're gonna have a party tonight, but I'm not gonna be here for that. Alright. You guys have fun. Is there... I think there's something up there. It's kinda cool hearing the shuttles going constantly over your head. I mean, they're loud, but it's kinda neat. Gives it a real spaceport feel. Alright, what's up here? Hello. This looks like the bar where they will be having the party. Bothered you with this. Yet you do seem troubled. My twin sister was at site one. She was a genius. They still didn't make it. I keep wondering what I can do to help us. But she couldn't. That sucks. Sorry about that. Right. Hello, Dr. Ramirez. Another terminal. Okay, so this is not the bar. This is the... <laughs> it's slightly different. It's the hospital. <laughs> right. Yeah, I'm trying to talk to you. Can't talk to you from behind. Got it. August said you might swing by. Right, yes? Dr. Ramirez. Run the clinic here on EOS. Much better than life as an Alliance medic. Good to meet you. I'll guess you're not here for a checkup. How can I help you? Is that Javik's voice actor? It might be? I don't know. Um, alright, how's life on EOS so far? In the last, you know, 20 minutes that you've been here. What's it like living in our first successful outpost? Reminds me of my Alliance days. These soldiers look so... young. But they're eager. We know we'll make this work. Why did you join the Andromeda Initiative? I served in the Alliance as a medic, but... Say I saw one Batarian slave raid too many. I knew August, Bradley, and when he signed on to the initiative, he suggested I consider it. This seems like a better frontier. What do you think of Bradley? I've known him for years. He was the squad medic when he was injured, and we kept in touch after his discharge. He's a smart fellow, a good lieutenant, but a better mayor. And it bugs him when I call him August. So, I restrict myself to uh, two or three times a day. <laughs> okay, so he's former Alliance military, so that, and now he's turned civilian mayor, but that should work out good here then. Okay. What's the latest from your clinic? Usual checkups for first thing colonies. Plus a few cases of dehydration and some blindness. Nothing serious. Okay. I'll leave you to it. Come back anytime. Preferably unhurt. I will make sure to do that. <laughs> Alright, what's the terminal say? Okay, uh, Victor Carson. 
Mr. Josephs, I find it troubling that you think I could be swayed from my duty by an offer of credits. I understand Victor Carson is a friend of yours, but that's hardly an adequate reason to release him from cryostasis and send him to Pedromos. Who's Mr. Josephs? Um, beyond that, from what I hear, you two are a disaster waiting to happen. I know all about that prank you and Mr. Carson pulled on Everett before the journey to Helios. Victor Carson will be released from stasis when I see fit and assigned to an outpost th that best suits his skill set. And if I hear you've gone over my head and spoken to Addison about this, you'll have me to answer to. Administrator Brecca. Okay. No idea who those people are. Any of these people, actually. But, okay. Dr. Ramirez. Case notes 024. Symptoms... Oh, I'm reading someone's case notes. Well, that's great. Uh, <laughs> no HIPAA violations here. Uh, anyway, systems condition acute insomnia claustrophobia. Details. On examination, no organic underlying cause. Apparently suffered a mechanical failure bef when coming out of stasis that locked her in the pod. Well, that would suck. Clearly a psychosomatic case, but symptoms are acute. Prescribed tetravioxine... No, tetravoxine and VR post-stasis therapy. Next appointment in two weeks. So she was stuck in the... She was locked in the pod after she woke up. <laughs> that would suck. Um, no wonder she has claustrophobia. Personal notes. I'm seeing several cases of post-stasis anxiety and other related conditions. The techies solved a lot of the physical effects of long-term stasis, but we're clearly seeing the psychological effects run a lot deeper. People just aren't designed to be turned off for too long. Should talk with Hanley about long-term research initiative. We're first for a lot of things. Alright, case 076. Uh, symptoms condition, multiple leg fractures. Ouch. Patient lost his grip and fell during maintenance work on the roof. Jet jump jets failed to fire. Compound fractures to the right leg, severe sprains to left ankle. Uh, patient showed an allergic reaction to anesthetic, so I borrowed August and a couple engineers to hold 06, 076 down while I set the legs. Application of foam cast and appropriate analgesia followed. Personal notes. Noisy day, but hopefully an, ob an object lesson to the rest of the outpost about jump jet maintenance. <laughs> Patient is healing nicely, should be falling off roofs again in a week. Wait, did that count? Okay, yeah. Alright. <laughs> okay, and I don't see anything else to interact with here. These windows are really cool. And I figured out the windows actually aren't windows at all, probably on the Tempest. They're windows here. I think this is actually glass there. But on the Tempest, in, now that I've been uh, thinking of this, I don't think they're actually windows. I think they might just be those um, vid screens. Because I don't see any actual... like, okay. Can I, can I take my weapon out? No? No, apparently I can't take my weapon out. I was going to use my sniper scope to get a closer look at the Tempest, but whatever. Um, but yeah, on the Tempest, you don't see any actual spots for windows. So I'm guessing that it's actually, um, vid screens on the ants, like, that are just, uh, projecting what cameras on the outside of the ship are seeing. Which is still cool. It's, uh, like the, the shuttle in, um, Cortez shows you that the shuttle does that, or shuttle can do that anyway. Oh, there's no door here. Alright, fine. Um, Cortez t shows you that the shuttle can do that in Mass Effect 3. And so, I guess they just took the same idea. Okay, so this is the shuttle... This is a shuttle launch pad, right? I think. Not the one they're using. Yeah, that's the one they're using over there. That's cool. The water is still... Whoa! <laughs> I don't want to... Whoa. No, I don't want to do that. Thank you, I just wanted to look. Okay, well, whatever. Um... Oh, for goodness sake. I was trying to look down there, I thought I saw another floor. Never mind. Okay, so I checked out this building. Checked out that building with its three rooms. Okay, and I think... Alright, so there's a shop over there. There's the research station that I have not actually gone to yet. The Tempest is right there. Alright. Um, let's check out the research station first. Am I gonna just hear more and more about how, you know, we wish this was an actual Quite research chatting place? With some soldiers at Podromos. They're a straight-faced bunch. The cat don't pull their punches. With colonists on the line, neither can we. Might divert some militia equipment to Podromos. Good idea. 
Although, you could just talk to Kandros about that. You don't need to divert it without him knowing. She wants to wait for the right time and... Trust me, there's no right time to have kids. You both want to, right? Sure. But Yami's got her militia work now. And it's still scary out there. Yuki. Alright, terminal. Another terminal. Quarantine. Best practices. Please remember that everything shipped to the landing pad, especially from off-world rather than sealed nexus supplies, must go through quarantine procedures via confined observation, spot testing, bacteriological scans, or radioactive sterilization. We are a new presence on EOS, and everything added to the ecosystem will have an effect down the line. Our job is to make sure it's a beneficial one, and strong quarantine procedures will really help us out. Hainley Abrams. Um, addendum. If anyone tries to tell me or Hainley that your ship's that your shipment's a special case and you don't need to bother, you'll be running quarantine twice. Bradley. <laughs> I think he's got this place well in hand. <laughs> Radiation alerts for shuttle pilots. Uh, the that vault doohickey might be clearing the atmosphere, but we're still but we still got pockets of high radiation and bad weather across the continent. Telepresence update. Zones ten through twelve are still smoking hot, but zone. 8 is showing a drop. Watch your shuttle's radiation shield absorption. They can take up to 190 uh, milli SVs, I'm not sure what that is, safe, uh, per hour safely. SV. Yeah. Anyway, um, anything more and you need to head back for a refit. And remember that if you're carrying that if you're carrying power cells or radiological equipment, those can throw off your readings. Make sure you're as safe as you think. Pilot McCready. All right, and today's flight schedule: 300 to 400, 0300 to 0400, night flying training session four, 0700 to 0800, morning patrol, northeast, okay. Uh, 1200 to 1230, shuttle cleaning and refit. 1400 to 1500 is dropship assault drills, drop si dropship assault drills, jump jet inspection beforehand, and then 1500 to 1600 is afternoon patrol. Cool. <laughs> What is in- what is this? Just a storage container? Am I hearing crying? Hello? Okay, I thought I heard crying. Never mind. Alright, the Tempest is over there. The research station's over here, then. Is it this one? Yeah, I think it's this one. You can see the exclamation point on the compass thingy. Hello? Hello? Oh, okay, this is a research station like that first place had one, isn't it? Can I... Okay, apparently I can't use it, though. Weird. Alright, fine. Oh, here's the... This is the thing. This is the quest. Alright, um, please help. This is the only way I can get the word out before someone gets killed. My work crew, they keep talking about that remnant tech. They think the initiative's lying about how dangerous it is? That a couple of electrodes in the right place could get the remnant tech to work for them instead? Oh, great. They tried before, and I helped out in medbay when those remnant observers carved up Barty. What? And I helped out in medbay when those remnant observers carved up Barty. But Jennings says we could live like kings if we had an army of remnant bots working and fighting for us. He's taking the whole work crew with him to help him this time. I have to go with them. Maybe I can talk Jennings out of it, but if I can't, someone should know why we didn't come back. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Someone left a warning. Looks like a work crew thinks they can take control of the remnant. Oof. That's a recipe for trouble. Work you think? crew rosters are posted publicly. The data pad mentioned Med Bay. A little work, we could find where to catch up with them. Okay. Alright, um... Anything else around here that I need to... Like, what is this over here? It's just the... Yeah, this is just part of that, isn't it? Yeah, it's not even a thing that I can actually stand on. Never mind. Alright. Okay, so we've got... These... Research towers here, I guess? I don't know. I don't know what to call them. But, yeah. Alright, what's in this building before I run over to the med bay again? Alright, anyone? Got a research center. Okay, this is the... So this is the research and... Yeah. Research and development, which I don't actually need to do right now. Alright, let's go this way. Okay. 
All right. So that's a brilliant idea. Yeah, let's go mess around with the remnant tech. Oh, it didn't work the first time? It apparently carved some guy up? Let's try it again with more people, because that's brilliant. There's nothing up here. Okay. Because, you know, that's a brilliant idea. Like, I'm stuck on a rock. Why am I stuck on a rock? All right, there we go. Um... Okay, that's the med bay up there. What's over here? Jacob Mitney. Hello. Pathfinder. Jacob Mitney, research and development. My team's just getting set up here, but we've made a discovery you might want to check out. Oh? All ears. We've put together a blueprint for augmenting your armor plating. Uploading it now. Cool. If you can collect the necessary resources from around EOS, it should work. Should work. <laughs> It is worthwhile, but I am wondering. Is this a sure thing, Mitney, or just pie in the sky? I have no interest in wasting your time. Okay. This could form the basis for armor production across the initiative. Scrounge safely, Pathfinder. Okay, will do. Alright, so actually... Hold V to track. I hit... I held V to track it, and that was not... Not working. Alright, fine. Let me go back. No, not that. I do want to check out where that is. Helios Assignments. Eos. The secret project. Need that one still. Uh, nope, that's not what I was trying to do. No, not that. Additional tasks? Armor crafting. Okay, it's a Pathfinder chess piece. Alright, well. Yeah, I'll, I'll look into that later. Um, Alright, what's in here? Ammo. That's what's in here. <laughs> An actual sunlight to wake up to. This will be great. You won't be saying that in a few days. Drill starts at 0600. <laughs> All right, we have a crate in here too. What's in here? Biotic amplifier. All right, a specialized bioamp originally manufactured uh, by the Milky Way's Aldrin Labs. Does 311 melee damage, and then omni gel canister. All right, I'll take all that. That is a very dirty window compared to all the other windows. It's kind of weird, actually. What's with all that steam coming out, or dust or something coming out? That wasn't out there when I was out there. That's weird. Okay, anything to... There's probably nothing to scan in here, but... I could always use more Milky Way research data. Okay. All right, so this is the barracks, basically. I think, anyway. Okay. Now, just one more building over here. I may have been here already. No, I haven't been here. All right, what's in here? Uh. Nope. Can't talk to you. No, I can't talk to you, but I can check out. The doctors have a name for it by now. He just needs time. Um. Okay. I'm just gonna check the crazy person's mail. Um. Hey, Connor. Congrat. I heard about the new position. Pedromos g just gained one hell of a businesswoman. Uh, they're lucky to have you. If we ever find ourselves on the Nexus at the same time, I'm buying you a drink to celebrate. Vetra. And Ryder, I know you're going to get nosy and read this. Hi. <laughs> Wow, Vetra's calling me out on it already, jeez. That was quick. Good job, Vetra. Yeah, hi. <laughs> well played, Vetra. Well played. I like her. <laughs> I can't believe she did that. Alright, actually, okay, there's another place to check out right here. I know I'm using jump jets to get everywhere, but, you know, what's the point of having jump jets if you don't use them to get everywhere? Alright, can't go in that. Okay, this is some kind of lounge. Or will be eventually. I wonder if, um, once this planet, like, once the radiation clears up and time has passed, like, is the furniture gonna be more settled and in the right places? Like, instead of just mattresses randomly on the ground. Okay, there's nothing- whoa! Man, that is loud. This is not the best spot for any sleeping stuff. 
Okay, why does that Turian look like he's having a very bad headache? Is he okay? I'm sorry it came to this, Pathfinder. What? Pathfinder. Hi. Pathfinder. Uh, okay. Is this the quest spot? No, that's down there. Um. Okay, well, I'll just uh, leave you guys to that. I have a feeling that's a glitch, because that makes no sense, what he just said. But I'll just, um, I'll be going. I will come back later. I'm sure I'll work that out at some point. Anyway, all right, let's head up to... Okay, I was already in there. Let's head up to... Yeah, I was already in there. That's the barracks. This is another spot I have not been yet. Pathfinder. Hey, what's up? Um, okay, so there's a room. Can't okay, there's... There's a room down here, and then there's a room upstairs. Well, there might be a room upstairs. I'm not sure, actually. All right. Hey, guys. Henderson at the shuttle landing pad told me. He heard it from the pilot. Izzy, you've got to stop listening to every rumor that comes in. Here's Joseph's. Okay, but when your shuttle gets eaten by space whales, don't say I didn't warn you. Space what now? Okay, but that's... Uh, I guess that's that Joseph's guy that the email was to earlier. Merchant, what do you have? A lot of stuff, apparently. Ooh, you have a Carnifex too. Nice. I might get that. Um, let me sell my salvage. Just see how much that... 5,700! Yes! Thank you! Okay. Um, now I'm definitely getting the card effects. Alright, uh, Pathfinder Helmet. I wish I could just, like, equip things in the field like that. Um, and just test them out. But I can go use the forward station, I suppose. But, let's see. Okay, so we've got a pistol receiver, which adds penetration damage and am ammo penetration distance. Okay. And then plus 14% accuracy. That's what it was. Alright, so if I put those mods on the new pistol optimizer melee damage, no. Um, if I put those, if I get a Carnifex 2 and put those odds, put those mods on the new one, then that will give me more damage, and that's cool. Alright, so confirm that trade. Yes. And then I guess I have to actually do the mods at the forward station. Alright, let's just check out this terminal first. No messages. Okay. Alright, let's check out that one then. Formal request for Darket Tier Tyrvian number 28. Making the request again, Bradley, I know it's not your fault. I know she's supposed to be the se to be second wave, but I want a trail so that when all this calms down in a few years, we can be we can get proper outraged about how long it took to reunite families, especially ones hurt during the site 1 2 mess. You know, broken promise is a thing, right? Requesting the deployment of Darket Tyrvian, uh, W84 Crispin Exo Studies Specialist. Reason she's an asset that will help viability. She's also my daughter. Ouch. Okay. Speak with Addison's assistant on the Nexus. Oh god, I get to speak to Spender, huh? That'll be entertaining. <laughs> the assistant that she hates. That guy. Oh wait, there's a Right, there's a place upstairs. Let me just go check that out first. Okay. What's in here? Okay. Alright, this is Kane Fox. Hello. Um, okay, I'll talk to you first, I guess. You haven't got a fuel cell, have you? The quartermaster says there's plenty, but she would. Wait, oh, shit, you're the Pathfinder. Sorry, no one said VIPs were coming by. No problem, man. I'm just Ryder. Nice to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you, too. Uh, I'm Fox, Chief Engineer at your service. Cool. Uh, what brought you to Andromeda, Fox? What brought you all the way to Andromeda? There's a colony back home you've never heard of. Viridus. It failed hard. I grew up there watching things fall apart. When I left, I got into infrastructure, civil engineering, 
boring stuff unless you've ever lived without it. I wanted to do Viridus right, I guess. And the initiative was my best chance. Um, thanks for asking. <laughs> no problem. Sounds like a noble idea. I like it. What do you do here? My team gets things going. Water, power, communications, everything a civilization needs. Well, not laws or a constitution, but it's easier to concentrate on those when you got a flushing toilet. <laughs> Very true. What do you think about your new home? First impressions? We've got water, clear skies for solar power, plants to farm. The remnant are a wild card. But I hear you almost have that solved, which is amazing. And you found us a good site here. I, uh, I think Eos is really going to be special. I think so, too. What are the other outpost staff like? Like Connor, you mean? She's pretty fun when you get to know her. Just don't get to know her over a poker game. Trust me. <laughs> okay, noted. Bye, Fox. Bye. Stay safe out there. I will. Thanks, game. Okay. Data pad. Worker roster is week two. Oh, this might be useful for me. Um, water course repair team, Fox, Lorelai Smith, and Matthew Kinnison. Alright, uh, attachment, course damage, course damage sheet dot HSM. Uh, water monitoring setup, device setup, and then there's someone named Alex Jennings, who's the team leader, and then there's Sale Varex and Jamie Kasparek. Monitoring device logs. Locks? Oh, locations. Duh. Okay. Work rosters. That data pad mentioned the name Jennings. Here, Axel Jennings, the scientist set up weather monitoring devices all over the desert. Too many locations to check them all. We need to narrow it down. Okay, so I still need to speak to the to someone in Medbay. But yeah. Okay. I thought that that might be useful, although I didn't notice that it said Jennings. I was I zoned out on that one. But all right. Helped my co help my quest. Okay, scratch pad. Login Chief Engine Kane Fox. This file is filled with sketches, annotations, and exploded exploded schematic views. Many are focused on a combined road monorail network for EOS, showing several different but brilliant designs. Always good to go back to the old standby when I need to think. Underneath are several doodles showing elegant redesigns of the Nexus from of the Nexus Trans Tram system map. Pasted to one side are a number of downloaded statistics on predicted population growth, growth over the next century. Got a baseline. Bradley's always good for the numbers. Adjoining the statistics is a blocked out simplistic drawing of Padromos, dated, dotted lines showing expansion, with detailed sketches of water and sewage lines underground, wireless power routers, and the flow of foot traffic. Sloppy, but it's a start. On the other side is a sketch of a Pathfinder helmet with downloaded notes on material testing and safety regulations. Design fundamentals look sound, no need to worry. Okay, cool. Help from the Nexus. Fox, how is it there? I heard Bradley has things up and running smoothly. I knew you guys could do it. Tell me all about Eos. It's boring here, so I have to live vicariously through you. As for the advice you asked for, just be yourself. I know how you get when you're nervous. This special lady will like you a lot more if you just relax. You got this, buddy. Good luck. Guessing he's talking about Connor. Okay, cool. If you'll excuse me, I have to go save some idiot workers now. Alright, um, actually, forget it, just go this way. Jump jets for the win. Okay, so the med bay is up there, and it's access this way. Wait. Yes, right? Right, okay. <laughs> Alright, so we get up here. Hopefully someone's up here that I can talk to about this. Probably Ramirez, although this terminal might be helpful too. Why is there a scan thing? Okay. Is that it? Okay, the avalanche only moves because snowflakes are there to move it. So she's getting philosophical on him to help him out with his issues. This definitely treated wounds caused by a remnant. That data pad said the work crew tried to control them. Sand particles were removed from the wound. Analyzing. Great. Comparing with locations from the work roster, it's likely the injury occurred near a monolith. Let's go. 
Okay. Um, last treatment cycle removal of particles, metagel, cauterized DEW wounds. Don't know what that means. Um, this equipment appears to have been used to treat wounds caused by a remnant. Which we already went over. Alright. Okay. Alright, so I want to get that memory trigger, but now I have to go save some idiots, and then I will get the memory trigger. <laughs> so, monolith is right over there. I'm guessing that's... I'm guessing that's where it is, but I'll get in the tent or in the nomad and then check it out. Hello. Hi. Hello, more random people. Have you noticed how clean the air smells? I can watch all day breathing it. Okay. Did I check in here? I think I did. Maybe. Yes, I did. Alright. Okay. I thought I brought the Nomad down here. Am I crazy? Alright, I'm right here. The Nomad's- that's the Nomad right there. Right? Yes. So, I went past it, obviously. Ah, there it is. Oh, let me switch out my pistol while I'm at this. Okay, uh... No. Terminal. Activate. Loadout. Okay. Okay, Carnifex 2. And then... Yeah, these mods again. Yep. Okay. Now, I still want to stick with this um, sniper rifle, I'm guessing. Yeah, the other one's... Nah, still sticking with the incisor. For now. Um, melee, I... Uh, do I want to try... Let me just turn this... Let me just see what that looks like first. Can I... I don't know where that sound is coming from. Let me just run out of the boundaries. Maybe that's when I can start using... Yes, okay. Alright. So... Okay, so the jump attack is still an Omniblade thing. But the... Okay, but that's a fist. Oh, sorry, Vetra. Um, okay, so the jump attack I don't think will have an ice effect to it. Or a freezing effect to it. But the... Um, regular melee would if I stick with that. I think I'm gonna try that out just to see how it is. I mean, I liked the Omniblade too, but I will check out this Remnant Gauntlet. Restoring all health and power cells and stuff. Okay, good. Alright. Now let's see here. Where... Okay, that's a thing. That's not... It's not telling me what it is, but yeah. Um, memory trigger. That's the rocks still. That's the Remnant Project. Is this it right here? Hold on. Yes. S investigate the monolith site. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I'm I think I'm set for now around here. Let's just try to get out of here gracefully. We will see whether that works. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so the monolith, it's, it's that one over there, right? Yeah, it is. So, exit this, and that, yeah, that's that direction. What's over here? It's the way up, maybe? No. Nope, it's just a cave. A pretty cave, but Seems still just a cave. Seems less harsh than when we first landed. Maybe I'm just getting used to it. Our people came a long way. Nothing here will stop them. Not where I'd want to stake a claim, but some will be all too eager. Okay. So, not this way. Yep. I can't drive. It's just what's happening. There we go. Alright, now, so they were setting up remnant tech up here, so am I going to have to fight stuff again? Probably. I'm probably going to have to fight stuff again. Alright, get out. 
Come on, guys. Uh, which way? This way. I wonder if anything at the monoliths changes when I activate the um, atmosphere scrubber thingy. Hm. Okay. Alright, what's going on here before I go in any further? See the blast shields are up? That's probably from me, though. Although all the lights are on. No sign of that work crew. Someone left their gear behind. Oh, great. Freaking shuttles flying right over this place. Okay. Oh. What am I scanning? What? Okay. Why are you telling me to scan here? Lexi, found another colonist. We did? Oh, is this the same colonist that's buried in the floor or whatever and I can't find them? Okay, well, where's the stuff? Right, so there's these guys over here. I've already... Oh! Okay. It's just a shield mast. Um... Alright, I'm not seeing whatever it is I'm supposed to be looking at. Where's the gear that they left? What is she talking about? Alright, that's putting up the blast shields. I'm not gonna take that down right now. Because I have a feeling remnant are gonna pop up at some point. Okay. I've got this data pad here. Is this supposed to be for We're this so quest? Close. I just know it. Once we get that linguist, we'll crack it. There's so much tech here. It has to help. Then I can see Carrie again. It's been a slow start, but we got this. We... Oh no. No! Okay. Damn it. The remnant aren't all bots and maybe blue skies. Stay careful. Yeah, I know. But is that this quest? Main concern here. Alright. Okay, can I put a waypoint, like, right where I'm supposed to be? Alright, scan the communications equipment. Okay. Wrong button. Scan the communications equipment. Alright, what am I missing? Okay, so there is that. Unknown res un unknown something device. Unknown resonant device. Surface scarring indicates initiative standard ranged weaponry. Theorizing physical marks are consistent with survey equipment used in melee defense. Alright, so someone hit the thing with their omniblade. I don't know. I think that's what that means. Alright, what do we have here? Okay. Remnant console. Made it. Alright, it does that. Communications equipment, is that- Oh! Okay. Wait. I've got an open comm channel. Easy money. Once the electrical charge builds up, we'll have ourselves some nice, obedient remnant. You better be sure this time, Jennings. If you're that spooked, go hide behind the four giants. I'm busy. Damn it. We've got to find them before they get themselves killed. Okay, the four giants. I saw something that was uh, the names of some pillars, I think, around here? Yes. It was- these are the four giants here. That's where I found the um, body for the first murder thing. Okay, well, I'll stop by and get the secret project on the way back, I guess, but let's go keep those guys from dying first. Eyeing someone in supply? Something about a drop date? That's interesting. If someone were involved in that, they'd probably move the drop. 
Someone could do that, yeah. And you're welcome. <laughs> so he goes from being annoyed at her as a cop to telling her to avoid her planned drop dates. I think that's it. I think what's it? Oh, save the crew. Oh my god, there, there's a timer. I didn't even notice that. Okay, yep. Where? Where? Okay, hold on. They're over here? Yes. Alright, this'll be this'll be a fun thing. Let's see if I can make this. No, this is not the fast mode. Fast mode I'm is not this way. real romantic about road hazards. Interesting rocks are just as bad for the nomad. Yeah, okay. I don't know why she said that. I guess she's annoyed that I'm hitting so many rocks, but too bad. Help us! Please! Okay, where? Where? God, where am I? Alright. I'm over here. Okay, they're to my right. Okay. We're out. Okay, shoot things, guys. Alright, there we go. Go away, assembly. Alright. Where's the enemies? Enemy, there's one left. Right. Well, that went well. <laughs> Better than I was expecting. Speak to the survivors. Where are the... Hello. How's it going? Great timing. Thanks for the assist. You're welcome. Your experiment with the remnant didn't work out? Huh. Okay. Who squealed? Gas brick? Yeah, I bet. These remnant could plow our fields, protect us from the cat. You control them, why shouldn't we? First of all, I don't control them, really. So, I know what I'm doing is not technically correct. Secondly, we can make droids, you fool! What the hell? How many people need to get hurt before you stop this? Pathfinder's got a point, Jennings. <sighs> Fine. But you can't protect us all the time, Pathfinder. Out here, we need every edge we can get. That's why it's a military outpost. Okay, can I speak to him at all more? Do I want to? Can I shoot him? Great timing. Thanks for the assist. You're welcome. Okay, I leveled up, so that's cool. Was there any loot? Yes, there was. Alright. Mod slot extension. Ooh. Mod slot augmentation. You may apply one such augment to a gun during the development process. Neat. Oh, there's a dead body here. That's great. I think that's a dead body. It looks like, yeah, it looks like a dead terrain. Half buried in the sand. What are you? Why, why are you following me? Go away. You can get your own ride.